first thing that I did is I started with an huge block of wood. Um, I figured this was probably going to be the one of the better ways to do this. Um, I drilled out the center, slowly getting larger and larger drill bits until I ended up with a half inch hole. Uh, it was slightly too long for my drill bit, so I just cut it off with my cross cut. I used the table saw to cut down the piece, uh, just making sure that it was wide enough that I wouldn't uh, hit it. I couldn't get this block over uh, this little lip for some strange reason, so I had to turn off my saw and wait for the saw blade to stop before I could uh, grab it. Uh, because I drilled this uh, by hand, it was very far from straight, so I had to sand quite a bit of this off. I used a block plane to get rid of the larger corners here. I did use my sanding board for quite a bit but a lot of it was done on my belt sander. I know I'm going against the grain on this, but uh, I can sand it smooth later. I was just checking the fit of the end there to see the size. I use a Forsner bit uh, that was slightly larger than the hole uh, and I only went in just a little bit just to create a ring and what that did is when I used the other drill bit that would hold onto the syringe part, the tube, it would have an, like uh, a perfect circle around the outside edge. Like that. Then all I had to do was cut it out on the bandsaw. I used the thin blade for this one. And I used a pencil lead to align the holes and then glued and clamped them together so I could sand them to the line. That's what I'm doing here. I uh, had to figure out how long the plunger would be, so I put the plunger stick shaft, I guess you could say, in there and simply cut it out with my Ryoba saw. Here's where I'm thinking how I'm going to make the plunger. I inserted the half inch dowel in there, put the cap on, and then with the hole, I put my pencil lead in through that hole to draw the center mark, or at least close to center mark on that, so that way it would align with the shaft. The front portion of this just needed a little nub, that's where you would attach a needle if this were a real syringe something like this. Next I had to come up with the uh, finger portion of the back part of the syringe. Um, I just put the end cap on there, drew a circle, and kind of roughed it out. Just made it look kind of nice. I used my walnut ruler that I made with my son on that. Cut it out with the bandsaw. Lots of sanding on this. This was uh, the transitional piece to the ring.
portion and I just had to make sure that it fit to the ring. The ring I had made about a year ago and I uh, just had it laying around and thought that this would make a cool accent to the syringe. I apologize, I do not have any video of me making that. Uh, if you are interested in seeing how to make these rings, make sure to comment below and I'll make a video on how to do that. I'm using CA glue and wood glue to make a very quick and strong bond in between the two. Again, just kind of sanding to the line on that uh, finger holding portion. Gluing this down to the finger portion. I'm grabbing some sawdust here on the floor. Yep, I'm a sawdust bay. <laughs> And all that does is it prevents it from moving and sliding, so that way the alignment will be correct. And I just clamp it in place. I'm gluing the ring portion to the end of the shaft um, for the syringe here. And I try to wedge in the wrong side. I had to flip it over. There we go. Now it fits. Time to glue on the finger portion here. I did shorten them and kind of gave them a little bit nicer of a profile. I just put some glue on that and now I just got to clamp it up to apply pressure to make sure it doesn't move. Not too much pressure. I don't want to break this thing. It, the walls are really thin on that. Time for finish. It's just gorgeous how this turned out. Couldn't be happier. That color, that grain, it just flows so nicely. I love how that ring turned out too. Okay, so I was racking my brain over how to be able to attach this end cap to the syringe so it will stay in place um, and not come off, but if I needed to be able to replace uh, like this, I could um, there's a plug in the end there and it's just friction fit so um, when I pull on it it comes off and they can be reattached um, but I couldn't figure out a way to be able to attach that end um, and I didn't want to put like glue or anything else on there like that um, so I've decided to attach it with wax um, I've got some beeswax here from another project and uh, to you know from making you know finishes and stuff like that um, you know um, cutting board waxes and stuff so I'm gonna melt a very small amount down um, and put a little bit into this cap here and then uh, secure it onto the syringe and that should hold everything in place Thank you so much for watching. It really does mean a lot to me. Make sure to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to place a comment below. Don't procrastinate, innovate. Catch you on the next one.